Can't relax while 3D printing because you fear a fail? Oh yes, you can. Painter, engineer, scientist, sculptor, architect, cryptographer, and elite gamer, Leonardo da Vinci was the antithesis of the phrase jack of all trades, master of none. In 2014, Taiwan's XYZ borrowed the Polymath's name to launch the da Vinci range of 3D printers. This year, the da Vinci has evolved, or perhaps more accurately, pro evoed Is it a masterpiece, or does XYZ need to go back to the drawing board? Let's find out as the 3D Printing Industry Engineering Team reviews XYZ's DaVinci Pro Evo. We won't dwell on the packaging. Suffice to say, XYZ has done a sterling job in ensuring this fine piece of kit arrives in mint condition out of the box. Outwardly, the Pro Evo has undergone a significant uh, evolution. Uh, gone is the red, now replaced with a sleek black exterior and mounted onto a metal frame. Also, since V1, the DaVinci has put on a little weight, but haven't we all? The 3D printer now tips the scales at 24 kilos versus 23. And there is minimal change to the footprint. Of course, it's what's inside that counts, right? Build volume gets a boost. The XYZ DaVinci Pro Evo has a build volume of 220 by 200 by 200 mil, as verified by our testing. Extruder? You get one. It operates on a Cartesian axis system and is what XYZ describes as a third generation extruder. A 0.4 mil hardened steel nozzle is fed appropriately by a third generation filament feeding system. We'll get into that later. Temperature-wise, the Pro Evo can run at an additional 20 degrees compared to earlier models, giving you 260 degrees of extrusion. And the higher nozzle temperature means an expanded material palette. And just what can you extrude? The Pro Evo is an open materials platform. And for a 3D printer of its class, you get a lot of options. TPU, nylon, premium metallic PLA, carbon fiber, polypropylene, tough PLA, PEG, ABS, PLA. With the optional extruder, you can add polycarbonate, carbon pet and carbon nylon. So many materials and users can select the default material profiles or manually enter their own parameters. The Pro Evo features a 5 inch full color touchscreen that is responsive and comes with an intuitive, easy to follow UI. Connectivity is Wi-Fi or USB via flash drive or cable. Other features show that XYZ has been paying attention to user and reviewer feedback. The quick dry filament feature is intended to head off any printing issues from using filaments that have taken on moisture. This push button process might become part of your workflow and save space if you've been operating an outboard dryer or even toasting your filament in the home oven. We like the PEI sheet build surface and the fact that the magnetic print bed is removable with gentle flex sufficient to pop off your print. Even after 852 hours of 3D printing, the bed remained in tip top condition. Okay, so far so good. But really, many of the things I've mentioned so far should be standard on a printer in this price bracket. So, how has the DaVinci evolved? Well, we're talking fully automatic, motor-driven bed leveling. Bed leveling is the literal foundation of 3D printing. A level bed is a must if you want to avoid a build failure and wasted filament. On some printers, bed leveling is a manual and rather tiresome process that can test a less experienced user's patience. So, how does XYZ make bed leveling as easy as an ABC? Well, one of the more innovative features sported by the Pro Evo is a pair of motors under the bed that enables the auto bed leveling. Calibration is a two-stage process. First, the sensor probes the bed at three points. Then, once those initial measurements are taken, the aforementioned motors automatically adjust. In operation, the sensor uses 121 points to determine the flatness of the bed. This approach to bed leveling worked very well, and by nailing it, the Pro Evo really helps to soothe any anxiety about print failure. Top notch. Okay, enough about hardware. The Pro Evo runs on the XYZ Maker Suite, which, while functional, does appear rather old fashioned in comparison to the rest of the package. Like Cura or other mainstream slicers, XYZ Print Free has standard functionality such as translation, rotation, and scaling. There is nothing else to report on this front. The software is easy to use, especially if you're already familiar with the FFF 3D printing workflow. On paper, XYZ Print Free has everything we've come to expect from a slicer, but in practice there are a couple of things that need to be fixed. Detracting from our experience were a few crashes during slicing, an irrational auto-placement for overlapped objects, and the clunky UI. Fortunately, we are sure that XYZ printing can easily improve this by pushing new code. We 
kick off the engineering review of your XYZ Pro Evo with a circular trajectory test. If you've seen our other videos, then this will be familiar to you. Our Pro Evo testing indicates above average repeatability with an average offset of 0.1216mm for the X axis and 0.0767mm for the Y axis, giving an average of 0.0991mm for all axes. It should be noted that the Y axis is significantly more accurate than the X axis. Therefore, it's recommended to print along the Y axis to produce parts with tight tolerances. The average standard deviation was 0.046mm, which is perfect for a 3D printer in this price range. Also, here it's good to note that the printer has a great feature that is surprisingly rare function to adjust the e-steps to increase the accuracy of the 3D printer. E-steps are the parameters that tell the printer how many steps the stepper motor needs to take to advance one millimeter. By adjusting this parameter, you can easily get a much more accurate printer than average. Congrats XYZ Printing. Next up, we run our 3D printing industry benchmarking test in ABS. The results were very much in line with our expectations for a 3D printer in this class. Delving further into the benchmark testing, we start by looking at the overhang test. This test is designed to determine the maximum angle principle without supports. The Pro Evo achieved 45 degrees without any problems. Next was the bridging test, which determines the ability of a system to print horizontally without a need for support materials. Like the overhand test, the bridging test yielded decent results as the DaVinci Pro Evo reached 35mm bridge length before structures started to bend and morph. An above average result. To our surprise, the negative accuracy portion of the test was particularly well executed. We were able to remove five of the printed tubes, whereas usually we only manage to remove three or four before the contact area becomes too large. However, contrary to our expectations, the test that clearly lowered the printer's average was the accuracy test. Materials shrank a lot after printing, which greatly affected the score. The printer still comes out more than fine with a respectable score. Our final phase of testing with DaVinci Pro Evo turns to real-world applications. We started by pushing the machine to its limits by using more complex filaments. We used the Polymaker PC Max filament to print a phone holder. Polycarbonate, or PC, is a high-strength material intended for tough environments and engineering applications. It has extremely high heat deflection and impact resistance. It also requires very high temperatures for printing and will exhibit layer separation if printed at too low of a temperature or with excessive cooling enabled. Polycarbonate is best printed on a machine that has an enclosed build volume and is capable of handling high bed and extrude temperatures. The result was perfect. Printed with a nozzle temperature of 260 degrees, the Pro Evo's limit, and a bed temperature of 95 degrees, this filament was a breeze for the printer. Next up, a classic, the nylon gear to integrate a mechanical system. Nylon, aka polyamide, is a popular material in the plastics industry, known for its strength and flexibility. One of the major difficulties with nylon filaments is that they are hydroscopic and easily absorb moisture from their environment. Printing nylon after it has absorbed moisture will cause several print quality problems. After the filament has dried thoroughly, we go to print. 245 degrees. So far, so good. We have absolutely nothing to report. The part was clean and smooth. On the positive side, we did not experience any warping and the part is totally usable. We continue with cycle pedals in nylon reinforced filament with crushed glass fibre. Again, nothing to say except the supports were quite difficult to remove, but this is all a matter of parameters. With a bit of testing and patience, you can get away with it. To finish with this printer, we will now print a modular shelf using different materials. For this, we will print the frame in PA12 carbon fiber, the boxes in PETG, and the fittings to fix the top of the cabinet all in PLACF. If all goes well, we should be able to assemble it without any problems. And guess what? This is another success for the Pro Evo. All parts were printed without any problems. We only had some minor stringing with the PET G. To correct this, it will be necessary just to increase the retraction a little. The PA12 carbon fiber body is perfect, as well as the PLA carbon fiber butterfly bars to attach the top plate to the cabinet body. So, has XYZ cracked the code with a DaVinci Pro Evo? Here's the 3D printing industry verdict. We've come to expect great things from XYZ printing over the past few years, and the DaVinci Pro Evo doesn't disappoint in terms of print quality. Building on past success, the system has kept what works and improved on the floors. With a larger build volume, an enclosed build chamber, and high-end features like 100% automatic leveling and e-step tuning, the DaVinci Pro Evo, priced at a low cost, offers a lot without a high price. Carbon fiber printing capabilities of this machine, thanks to the hardened steel nozzle, are truly something to behold. 
It's rare to see a 3D printer of this price capable of printing composite parts of such quality, making it a very powerful tool to have in your workshop. This system is well designed, easy to use and offers excellent value for money. We like the many material options and the ease of use of this 3D printer. Our test revealed some minor drawbacks that did not detract from the overall experience. For the sake of completeness, we should mention that XYZ printing can always improve user experience with enhanced software. In terms of hardware, we found it would be nice to upgrade to a dual gear extruder. This would prevent any slippage, thus removing the problem of chewed filament. Something that can lead to a clogged extruder. As far as print quality is concerned, the DaVinci Pro Evo is more than respectable for its price. It achieves excellent results in terms of repeatability if you exclude height measurements due to the first layer defect. XYZ's latest made its way through our many tests and real-world applications without any problems. Surface quality offered here is excellent and the parts are strong enough for practical use. Overall, the DaVinci Pro Evo has proven itself to be a formidable competitor in its class. The system's polycarbonate and nylon printing capabilities make it an excellent choice for desktop users looking for a versatile 3D printing experience.